Hey YouTube, welcome back to another tech tip video. We're going to talk about this Windows pop-up right here that gets kind of annoying. We're going to take a look at it coming up. So now that we're at the computer, I wanted to visually show you what the user account control setting menu looks like. But first I wanted to answer a question as far as what is the user account controls. And the simplest way to put it is it is a security feature that Windows has put in place to prevent viruses or malware or spyware from making changes to the computer. So in another sense, you can think of it as a terms of conditions or like an agreement that as soon as you want to make a change to the computer, you click yes, and that will make the change to the computer. So I'm going to show you how to access that. Uh, one thing I would stress on is I do not recommend changing any of the settings that you have access to. But first, we're going to go down to the little start menu here. This is in Windows 10, but it works very similar, if not the same way, on a Windows 7, Windows Vista, and also Windows 8 or 8.1. So come down to the little start menu here, and I'm going to start typing in the word user account. And I'm going to click on the one that says change user account control settings. This will bring up this little menu right here. And this is where you can go in and change the level of protection for the user account control. So if you bring this little slider down, you're going to go down to where it will never notify you, but that allows programs like viruses to make changes to the computer and possibly creating more of an issue than you want to deal with. So I would recommend leaving it at the default, which is the third bar up and then uh, keeping it there. So, but as you, if you do move it, if you want to make it more secure, you can move it up. And then once you want to do that, you'll just hit okay. It will ask you one more time. If you want to make changes, you'd click yes at this point. Um, same, if you, same way if you move it down, it'll, it'll prompt you again saying, hey, did you want to make changes? You can choose yes or no, depending on what you want to do. So with that being said, I'm also going to include a link down in the description below the video that kind of gives you a little bit more in-depth look at what the user account control does. If that is something that you wanted to read, go ahead and click on that link. It'll take you to a website. It's a great article and uh, just check that out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. Just a quick question of the day. What kind of pop-ups frustrate you? Leave that answer in the comment section below. Also, if you want to check out some of our other videos over here listed on the left-hand side, consider subscribing to our channel. We do a lot of how-tos, a lot of tutorials. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.